All right, man, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Clark Paulo, aka YKP. Whatever you guys want to call me, I'm back with another brand new YouTube video. If you guys can't read, go back to school. But if you guys can read, you'll see the title of today's video. Today, I had to, I had to bring it, you guys. It's, you guys love my story times, first off. But you guys always ask me to do, like, like a story time about, like, a specific topic. Like, last time, I think my last story time was about the time I got caught fucking. Or, like, it was one of the last ones. And people in that comment section literally were, like, can you do the one about your virginity? And then a good friend of mine was like, hey, you should do one about, you know what I'm saying, you losing it. And I've, I've been scared. Mom, dad, I'm sorry. I love you so much. And you're about to hear the story and it happens in your house. So if you're watching this, mom and dad, I love, oh my God, grandma, if you're watching this video, I am so sorry. I was 14. I love you. I'm almost 17 now. I'm a, I'm a grown fucking man. I love you so much. Okay. I'm sorry. I already repented my sins to God. But anyway, this video is about the time that I lost my virginity. The Holy Grail. My peace. My innocence. This is that story time. And, oh God, I don't want to do this. It's fine though. Okay, so basically, we're going to take this way back. I remember the specific date. September 16, 2017. Who, why do people remember that? I don't know. I fucking remember. I had a girl who I was with. We're going to call her fucking Bunny because she was a snow bunny. She's a white girl. And we're going to call her Cocaine. Pure Cocaine because she's white. So Cocaine and I were together like by like two months. Some change, you know what I'm saying? Like two months. Like we were, we was cool. She she says I'm her FL, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was thug in it. Me and her break up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We'll do it. No one cares, right? Whatever. No one cares. We dated like July to like June, July, August, September. August, like June to like August. Let's just say two months, but right for reference, I don't fucking know. Um, and uh, no, we dated July to August, something like that. July to the end of August or September, something like that. So like two months. Now, my parents and I normally go on a trip to Mexico, so I'm gonna go on a trip to Mexico probably soon. Like you guys saw the, uh, I didn't even post the vlogs actually. I go, I go to Mexico a lot, right? And um, my parents and my grandma. I live with my grandma and my mom, my brother and my dad. My grandma, and my two parents, went to Mexico. And they were gone for five and a half days. Like five full days and a half day just had to do with them leaving and them coming back. My parents opted to leave us home alone, not only just home alone, and the parent that was supposed to come check in on us was the cool auntie of my family. My little brother, the one I call my little brother, his mom was the one that was supposed to come check in on us. The coolest fuck that they could give us, basically. They basically said, we don't care. So... They left us alone, and it's the first day, and my parents say, only, I, I literally can only have one friend, not like one person come over, but there was only one person who was allowed to come over, and that was my friend Angela, and he's been in my videos. See, that's the only person who was allowed to come over, and my brother knew that, and my brother's kind of a fucking snitch, okay? My brother's kind of a snitch, like, me and my brother are polar opposites. So, I'm at home. My homie can't come over, my homie Angelo, and I'm like, dude, I'm 14. What the fuck do you think leaving me home alone is going to result in? Me staying in my fucking room and playing video games and beating my dick? Like, no. Like, this is an opportunity to fucking do shit. And I was allowed to leave as I wanted. They didn't care. So, one day goes by and I'm chilling. I'm just at my home. You know, I'm thugging it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We'll do it. And that was on a Thursday. Then the Friday comes and there's a basketball game. So, I go to the basketball game, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Shoot hoops. People are, you know what I'm saying? We're going crazy. And while I'm there, I, I spread word to, like, my niggas. I'm like, hey, bitch, like, nigga, come on. What's up? Like, I got, I got a house to the neck. You feel me? Capping because my brother's there. So I'm, I don't have house to the neck because my brother's there. And I'm like, nigga, come on. Like, what's up? At the time, I had two really, 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 really close friends. One, we're going to call Flower. The other one, um, Tall Guy. Tall Guy and Flower. Both of them are tall, but Tall Guy and Flower. Flower uh, and Tall Guy, we're still like cool, but we're not like best friends anymore. I tell him to come over. I'm like, bro, pull up. Tall Guy was like the ugly nigga that for some reason like tricked bitches into being with him. Like he had hella girls that were like his FL. Like he was in, he was a lover boy. He was, he was like in love with girls. He like kissing girls. He's, yeah, he's different. Flower Power was fucking bitches. He was like from seventh grade, fucking bitches, like fucking bitches. Like that was him. Me, I'm just that nigga. You know, I was like right in the middle. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But at this point, I had never got some. I was, so I wasn't really on this part. I was just kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I was a little flirt. But I had never got this. And I was like, come over. Like, what's up? 
So they come over, and at this point, I have no females. I'm not I'm not talking to no one, because I just got out of the relationship, and I'm like, but I'm free. Like, what's up? Like, and this is when people just started, like, this is the school year. The school year starts in August. This is September. So we're fresh fucking men. Like, we're fresh men. And, like, nigga, what's up? Like, come on, like, let's get it cracking. Let's do something. So... Them two come over, my brother knows them, so he wasn't really tripping on them. And um, my auntie, when they pulled up, my auntie was not supposed to check in. She was never supposed to come. She happened to come by and sat outside the house for like 10 minutes just to show that she, my parents that she was there. And she saw them come in. So later on, when the whole story is done, she basically brings up the fact. She was like, I saw girls coming in and out. But what she really was talking about was my two friends. So she really didn't see their girls coming in and out. So it was my two friends came in, and we were chilling, whatever. And... Everyone always says I have females, but I always thought that they had females. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like nigga, what a bitch is that? Like, what's up? Like, call them. Like, I, they were like, I, acting like I'm going to do something. I'm not going to do anything. I'm a scary little freshman. Like, I, I don't even know what a girl's lips feel like. That's a lie. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm scared. And I'm like, bro, call up some females, whatever. And they're like, nigga, you have the girls. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean I have the girls? I'm like, nigga, you got the juice. Like, what's up? So, so I call up. The one girl that I know like that I can call up and I haven't talked to her in how long, but it's been like it's been like a month. And in freshman time, that's a long time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, what I call her? Cocaine. Cocaine. Uh cocaine. Shawty, like. You know what I'm saying? I know I said I hated you. I was joking. Like, like, what's up? Like, how you doing? Like, slide. And I was like, bro, and and put all your feelings to the side. Be realistic. We I got house to the neck. How often does this happen? And this is a thing. She had out to the neck too. Her parents were gone for three days on some dumbass business trip. So I was like, nigga, this is, you can't, you get your emotions out of here. Like, come on, come on. And she's like, all right, bet. But at this point, I didn't tell her I was with my niggas. And she was like, whoa, wait, wait. The only thing is, I'm with my bitch. And I was like, oh. And ironically, tall guy was like, I'm fucking with this girl, blah, 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 blah. She's hella cool. Um, and, and her name her name is is blah blah blah, right? Let's just let's just call her blah 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 for right now. So like I said, sorry, my camera was tripping. Like I said, she had a best friend. My nigga was talking to the best friend. I didn't know it. I tell him, I'm like, bro, by the way, I'm inviting c cocaine. Her friend blah 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 wants to slide. He's like, nigga, I'm talking to blah blah blah. It's good. So blah 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 comes over with her, and but on the way, my nigga, my nigga that that flower power is like is like bro i don't have a female to come over and there's a girl that he invited over that lived like right across the street from me but she just couldn't get out of the house like she couldn't come so so and he's normally one like i said that's fucking bitches me and other bro aren't on that yet we haven't got that so they he's by himself the rest of the night that, there's really nothing else about him like he's by himself the rest of the night now me i call her and I swear to God, I swear to you, when she shows up at the door, she knocks. Me and my nigga get excited, you feel me? Flower Power's like, go get you some, son. Hold up. I just missed the whole part. Hold up. I just missed the whole part. Before they even came, I texted them and I was like, hey, you got to come. And they were like, all right, we're going to be there in 25 minutes. I was like, all right, bet. My dumb ass was like, do you have condoms? To my niggas. And they were like. Nigga, no. Like, and I was like, fuck it, get up, come on, let's go. So we thugged it. We started walking. I live like a mile and a half, two miles from the nearest gas station. So I was like, fuck it, come on. We sped walk. Mm, 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 mm. Granny walk. Mm, mm, mm. I whipped out $7 and bought a box of condom with three condoms. We bought some Trojans. I don't know. I don't remember what they were. I bought three of them. I, I took two and I gave one to my homie, knowing damn well he wasn't going to use it. I took that shit. And then I also had two Magnums. If you guys don't know what the fuck a Magnum is, I think I have one in my backpack, actually. Magnums are the big boys. Now, I'm going to just put this out there right now. I was a freshman. I was not packing this. I'm, I swear to God, I was not. Now, this is easy. Light work. But I was a freshman. This shit did not fit me. I was acting like it did. I acted like a motherfucker that did. Okay? I'm going to just put that out there. My dumb ass was like, I got a big ass dick. Nigga, I'm knowing damn well my, I couldn't fit that. Okay? Knowing damn well, I could not fit that. I just dropped my phone. That's what you guys heard right there. But anyway, knowing damn well, I couldn't fit that, right? So I had the two that I had bought and I had that at home that like just like on standby and then ironically I have another one right here that was like my cousins I think and I'll show you guys the difference if I if I have it I don't know yeah right here Y'all can see the difference bro you can see the difference look at the, it bah, come on go find them you know what I'm saying like get that shit out of here we, you know what I'm saying but anyway so we walk we get the shit and we boogie back 
come back home. And I swear to God, it was the fastest mile I've ever walked. Came back home, and and the girls are like, we're almost there. And I was like, oh, it's good. I'm home too. Come on, Shani. Knowing damn well I was down the street, like three blocks. So we get home, and I'm sweating. I'm sweating bullets. I'm like, oh. but not just from running, but like, now I'm nervous. I'm like, oh, shit. So I take off my shirt, wipe my face, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, nigga, what am I trying to look pretty for? Like, come on, quit playing. Like, come on. So girl gets to the door. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, we here. You know what I'm saying? I open the door. Now, look, bro. This the this the shit. I swear to God when I say this. I open the door and her first statement when looking at me, I swear to Jesus Christ, is, your booty calls are here. I said, shit, you making it easier for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have to do it. Like, you, you called yourself and I didn't say anything. And... She was like, I was like, what's up? Like, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Come, in, come inside. We start kicking it. We saying what's up to each other. She said what's up to the niggas, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then right there, it's like, all right, bye. Like, we breaking off. Like, leave me alone. Like, you go over here, bro. You go over here, bro, without a female. You dug it on the couch and FaceTime a female and be sad. You know what I'm saying? So I look at my nigga and he's walking down the hall. I'm like, I love you, fool. You go. All right, then. Other, bro. You be cool on the couch. They're looking at me like... He's that nigga. He's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I walk to my room. I'm like, what's up? Like, how you doing? Like, how you been? I ain't talked to you. Now, let me point this shit out, bro. Let me point this shit out. This girl just came back from a fucking cheerleading shit. She came back from cheering. I want you to think, bro. If, if I just came back from a soccer game and I didn't shower, what the fuck do you think I smell like? Stink, nigga. I stink. Period, point blank. I stink. She came back from a fucking cheer event. You like my pink underwear. I'm sorry if you guys can see that. She came back from a cheer event. Nigga, she stunk. She's stinky. So I made her wash herself up. You know, I told her, I told her. I didn't, I wasn't disrespectful. I was like, hey, like, she was like, hey, I came back. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, what's up, baby? Like, you know, here goes here go some baby wipes. You know what I'm saying? Clean yourself up, shut You know what I'm saying? I live that baller lifestyle. I got the baby wipes. And there was like three of them. And that was it. We in a room. We in this room. The, my bed under this bed is the one I did it on. So we get in the room, and I swear to God, I like this, like this. I walk in my room, and my bed used to be on the floor. I used to sleep on the floor. So my bed used to be right here. And it was one mattress. There was no frame. It was nothing. It was a bed. And I was like, what's up? Like, you like my room? Like, nigga, what's up? Like, I was showing her, like, this my wall right here. There go my curtains. There go my other wall. This is another wall. There my door. But there my bed. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, what's up? Like, come on. Like, so... I thought on her bed, not in a rude way, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? What's up, hug? hug get the fuck on the bed. <laughs> like, what's up? Like, and and in my head, I want to point this out. I'm 14 years old. So the only thing I'm going based off of is movies and porn. So whatever the fuck the porn looked like is what I was trying to do here. Nigga, I was like, mm, what's up, step sis? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, what's up? Like, this is Pornhub. This is, this is about to be a porno. So I was like, nigga, what's up? Get on the bed. Like, and she was like, she's like, oh, like, she already knew. By the way, I was not. I was not forcing myself on the girl. We talked about it. Like, we talked about this. Like, it was not like, I wasn't like, oh, like, by the way, I'm fucking you. Like, no, we had talked about this. We knew it was going to happen. So I wasn't forcing this on her. And you can ask her anyway. Like, I don't care. And you know what? Matter of fact, I'll put videos. Not of me fucking her before you get dirty. I'll put videos of the day so you can see what the, who the fuck I'm talking about. Right? You guys got it? All right, cool. So we're on a bed and I throw in the bed and we start kissing right away. And she's like, I'm like, so what's up? Like, <laughs> Have you done this before? Because <laughs> I haven't. And, and that's in my head. But she thinks, she, like, to this day, she thinks I didn't lose my virginity to her. Like, she, she I, I don't know. So, we're in here kissing, you know what I'm saying, whatever. And then, we, we go to the bathroom, we, we whatever. She, she gave me a lesson, like a teacher, you know what I'm saying? She gave me brains, she gave me top. It was cool. It was terrible, actually, but it was you know, I'm 14, so I thought it was cool. It was, it was the worst I've ever gotten. It was terrible, but it, I mean, it was cool. I was a freshman. We, we took a little mirror picture. If I have it, I'll put it right here. Like, it was cute. You know what I'm saying? She was wearing my soccer jersey, my soccer shorts. And I was I had my shirt off, you know what I'm saying? I had my six-pack. I felt fresh, you know what I'm saying? And then we went back in the room. And I was like, baby, come on. Like, nigga, you know what the fuck, buddy. You know, you know what time it is. Like, crippling. She was like, I'm on a winning team. What's up? Like, she threw on her game jersey. I was like, it's no more play. Nigga, it's game time. So we get in. And bro, when I tell you, bro, I'm not even, I'm not even trying to be rude. You can, she got big old butt. This girl is a white girl with a big old butt. So my, bro, my 14 year old head, you got to think of my 14 year old head. I'm like, dude, 
This is like, this is like perfect. So, and, and, and we get on the bed, whatever, we start kissing. And then it kind of just happened. But the thing is, I put on the condom backwards at first. So like, I, I went in like this. I took off the condom and I put in the, I put on the condom, and and the only time I had ever ever touched a condom or put on condoms when my foster brothers were showing me how to do it, and I fucked up then too. I put it on backwards. So this one, and it was yellow, which was really weird. But this one, I threw it on, and I put it on backwards, and I'm like, "Are right, you ready?" She bent over, and I'm like, "Are right, you ready?" And she's like, "I guess." And I have her wet and everything, and I go, I go to put it, in, and I'm like, "Wait, it's on wrong." So I take it off and I put it on the other way. And when I tell you, the first time, because we did it a lot that weekend, because I was like, we were home alone. But the first time I did it, I didn't really do it because she couldn't take it. I mean it. Like, nigga, I was like this. Like, I swear to God, I swear to Jesus. I put that little clip of the guy going down the hill, you know what I'm saying, where he screams every second. I'm going to show you that. You're going to understand it. So I don't have to explain it. But basically, this was me. Swear to God. I was like this. I was like this. Stop. 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 Like that. Like, it was like, I couldn't, I couldn't go anywhere. It was like... we. You could, I, I'll ask her. I mean, I could FaceTime her. I'll ask her. Like, probably like 30 minutes of just me, like, of me just trying to even put, like, if this is my, um, I'm trying to put, like, this much in. And, and it's not working. It's not working. So, we take a break. We're like, all right, baby, calm down. And then, we, we double back after, like, five minutes, and I'm like, what's up? Like, let's do it. It's game time. Like, we for real going. So, I go, and I'm like, bro, I'm just like, she's like, just do it. She's like, just do it. Go. Just go. And I'm like, all right, bet. And I go, and she's like, her, but I swear to God, her back goes from being like this, right, to like this. Like, you know a black cat when they get scared? And she was like, ah, whatever. And I was like, ah, I'm scared. I heard her. So I, I was like, all right, you do it. I'm scared. Like, you take Jesus, take the way. I'm scared. I'm scared. And then at that point, she was cool. Like, after that, she was like, whatever. And then we did it. I didn't know it. The whole weekend, I didn't know it. I literally didn't know it. It was so bad. So... We did it, and then we finished. And bro, the whole time I'm not even enjoying it. Like, at first off, I kind of on second off, I'm like so nervous. I'm like, oh my god, like, <laughs> like oh my god, someone's gonna walk in. Like, it's so bad. And and um, the bed's creaking, and I'm like, dude, this is like terrible. Like, this is so bad. Um, so we're doing it, whatever. Blah blah. blah. I never got to put it all the way in either because I heard it too much. And then by the time we're done. She's in the bed, and I'm done. I'm like, all right. Oh, I need a break. And I'm like, let's go back to the other room. She can't move. Just to fast forward, the girl ended up having to get painkillers because she couldn't walk. She had to go to the, to the doctor to go get her legs checked out. She couldn't walk. That's. She couldn't walk. <laughs> she couldn't feel her legs. That's how bad it was. So... And, but I, I swear, I'll, I'll fucking get a video of her saying that shit. So it's not just me capping. Like, I'll show you guys. And, yeah, so, so, she couldn't walk. So I had to pick her up and bring her back into the other room. And I'm with my niggas, whatever. We cool. And then, just to throw it in there, like, there was a time when they, my, my niggas walked in. Because they were, like, they were thugging it and they were doing whatever. And then they, I hadn't been out there in, like, an hour. We were cuddling in the room. And then we started doing it for the second time. And as we're doing it. Uh, I don't have closet doors anymore, but I know you used to have closet doors. She like, th they come in and and they didn't say who they were. We thought it was my auntie, and she was like, they like, and we were like, it's one time like nigga, it's it's, it's my auntie. You got, it. and she was like, all right, bang, took her shit, threw it in the closet, and jumped in the closet with a blanket. And then my niggas came in, and I was like, I was like, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's you. oh hi. hi. And then they were like, they were like, oh nigga, it's me. And I was like, oh what's up, my nigga, like come on in. And they were like, they were like, you you know when you're fretting, you know what the fuck is going on, but you're not saying it. They was like, so, you, you know, and I was like, yeah, nigga, <laughs> and they were like, all right, nigga, all right, nigga, and they were like, nigga, where's she at? So they come in the room, and then she's in a closet, and they're like, cocaine, where you at? And then she's like, pops her head out the closet, like gives the closet, she go, she's like, hi. And they're like, what are you doing? They go to open the closet door. And she's like, ah, I'm naked. <laughs> I just feel like I should add that in. That was just a funny part. But honestly, this is the thing I want to point out. The whole time was good vibes. Like everyone, I mean, like to say whatever, that was like, whatever. But everyone was so fucking close. Like, we were all so close to each other. It was so funny. It was such a good weekend. Um, the, my nigga ended up being with the girl. I don't think they fucked. I don't think they had sex. I think they just kicked it. Um, 
the girl, shout out to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, we, me and her have no hard feelings, you know what I'm saying? She's a really good friend of mine now. We're cool. Um, Like, I'm not like a really good friend. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, we cool. Like, it's not, it's not weird. You know what I'm saying? We And we laugh about shit like this. This is great. Uh, Mom, dad, I love the hell out of you. Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, grandma, I fucking love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. That was uh, the story time of me losing my virginity, my innocence. If you guys did enjoy that story time, um, I'm purposely, if it sounds kind of weird, I'm purposely leaving a few parts out just to hold people's like, I don't want people to get, like, in trouble. Not in trouble, but, like, like, there's stuff that can't be, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I don't want to give it out. So, I mean, if you guys did enjoy what I did give to you guys, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer that Jesus will forgive me. Um, uh, and yeah. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below. Uh, um, Magnum on the comment section. And, uh. See you guys later. Peace.